There was no jazz in my life till I was 17 or 18. I just sort of stumbled into it, literally stumbled into a jazz club. Um, this was before jazz education, you know? Just had to learn from listening to the older players, getting your butt kicked, that kind of thing. Wow, these are really fantastic. Yeah, this is it. That is a must listen to for any jazz fan. If you want to know what jazz is, this is jazz. I'm probably on a few of these with our farmer. I'm on that one, that one. Okay, well, I still have some money to spend. So, let's see. I'm just curious to see what they have of mine. Yeah, it's a kind of a musician's Googling themselves. I got that. Now, oh, leaves of grass. This is a great one, Fun House. Small selection, but once. Yeah, I think most of my discography I'm pretty happy with, but there are a couple I would like to burn every copy. You know, maybe two. But I'm not going to tell you which ones those are. Well, to me, you know, chops. So, no disrespect, but I'd say Oscar Peterson has chops. Does it move me? No. It's great on its terms, but do I listen to it? I own one Oscar Peterson album out of 3,000. Uh, I respect it, but it doesn't move me. Then somebody like, uh, who I knew very well, I'm looking at the Fs, Tommy Flanagan, you know, he really played phrase to phrase and it was always saying something and he was telling a story. So to me, that's technique. It's something that's used in service of expressing something. It's, it's a more humble attitude towards storytelling, not just impressiveness. So that's, that's what I try to do if I can. As great as Sarah Vaughan was, sometimes she would kind of fall in love with her own voice and what she could do. And she lost the story. Whether it were Carmen McRae or Billie Holiday, never lost track of what the story was, ever. You know, and they weren't afraid to make a sound that was not beautiful, you know. And I adore Sarah Vaughan, you know, more than I like Oscar Peterson.